it hurts the church to say, yes, you can be in a state of sin, mortal sin, and we'll still give you holy communion. What's going on in their minds? <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. While churchmilton.com was in Rome last month, I had the great opportunity to sit down with one of the most faithful bishops in the world, Bishop Athanasius Schneider. He's made a point of traveling the world and insisting on fidelity to church teachings. And he isn't afraid to call out problems and speak to their severe consequences that flow from a lack of fidelity. One of the most severe issues he sees is fear, which grips many prelates these days, born out of a love for power and influence, not thinking about eternity. They're afraid that they, they will be perhaps lose their post, but they will not lose their soul. But I will lose my bishop office for these uh, very few years. Well, he can, okay, he can govern uh, still perhaps five years. You don't, uh, he don't know because God can call him in every moment. Tomorrow. <laughs> or he can govern 10 years mm -hmm. when he is now 65, at, at, at least 10 years. Then he has, he has to go to emerit, emeritus. But then comes the eternity. Yes. What is the comparison? 10 years <laughs> governing a diocese or to be cardinal and the eternity. Right. To be certain, many lay Catholics already sense this disease of the soul among various prelates, and both are deeply concerned and saddened and angered all at the same time. Catholics want strong, faithful leaders to follow, not careerists. Our blessed Lord himself strongly rebuked this lust for power, even within the apostolic band. Another time, when the crowd was wanting to make him king after one of the miracles of the multiplication of the loaves, he ordered the apostles into a boat to ensure they did not get swept up in all of the enthusiasm of worldly praise, for such is not the kingdom of God. Catholics don't want powerful celebrities and larger-than-life personalities for their shepherds. They want humble men who love our Lord and His sheep and will die for them not make consort with the world. His Excellency also struck out against the attitude that everything must be said in sweet niceties. In the United States, there is uh, a, uh, a tone of ecumenism where the conversation centers around do not offend as your first concern. So if we were talking about Catholic truth and the majority of America is Protestant, we must speak in such a way as to not upset them. Yes, this is not the method of our Lord Jesus Christ and of the Apostles. When it would be so, our Lord Jesus Christ would not have spoken with the Jews, with the Pharisees, with the scribes in such a manner which he spoke very clearly and even with using, when it's necessary, hard words. And uh, to show the, the untruths of those who his uh, contemporaries. The entire interview is nearly an hour long and is available to churchmilton.com premium members. If you're not yet a premium member but would still like a sneak peek of the interview, you can view the trailer by clicking the link below. A churchmilton.com membership is just $10 a month and allows you continual access to our full library of premium content, like our interview with Bishop Schneider, for example. 
These sorts of interviews are important to listen to and digest so you can learn about fair affairs from an unimpeachable source. His Excellency travels the globe and meets with hundreds and hundreds of Catholics who have their fingers on the pulse of happenings that are impacting the daily life of the Church. He's a very holy, humble man who through his own gifted intellect and travels understands the current cataclysmic situation the Church is in and his knowledge and insight need to be listened to. We need to listen to truthful, dedicated leaders who grasp that we are in spiritual warfare here and time is running out. So please become a premium member and watch the entire interview. Reflect on what His Excellency is telling us and make it a part of your own dealings and conversations with family and friends. Tomorrow, Bishop Schneider on the ridiculous anti-Catholic notion that hell is empty or almost empty of humans, an idea being spread far and wide by Catholic leaders and popular clerics in America. One of the things that we hear a lot, uh, particularly in America, is this idea uh, that almost everybody goes to heaven, that almost nobody, if anybody, goes to hell. Well, this is a lie. This is a lie. You won't want to miss that interview. God love you. I'm Michael Voris.